Good afternoon, fellow anglers, and welcome back to the show. You're watching Delicious Fishing, and I am your host, the one and the only me, Danny Lee. My friends, I have an absolute treat of an episode for you. Today is the first ever Delicious Unboxing, and I have been chomping at the bit to make this video. Over the last several weeks, I've been ordering here, there, and everywhere from different Instagram and Facebook vendors. These guys make custom, made-to-order baits and lures. Now, I've spoken with each of them at length, so they all know what's going on, I think. But seriously, some super chill dudes, some crazy good talent, and I am psyched to show you what they're capable of. So, enough of that. No more chit-chat. Let's get into it. Okay, so before we jump right in, I just want to give you guys a forewarning and make a little bit of a confession. Um, I may or may not have already seen some of these, right? They are custom made to order, so I just want to throw that out there. Alright, so the first one comes from my guy Jackson at Beef Baits out of Wisconsin. To the best of my knowledge, he only does soft plastics, but what he does do is just super great. The thing that caught my attention about Jackson's Instagram page in the first place was his color schemes, right? So check this one out. Uh, I got a couple different things from him, a couple craws and structure bugs, but look at this. He calls this his bruised banana. How neat is that? That yellow and brown color? And he uh, added some purple flake for me upon request. Look at those claws. Tons of action. You all have to forgive me, I'm not so great with um, what molds are out there and who makes them. You all will probably recognize that well before I do, but I just, again, really love his colors. Really cool. Matches the hatch for sunfish around here really, really well. So, I mean, heck, you could Texas rig this, you could put this on the back of a swim jig and, you know, really get that bait fish looking action out of it. So, really neat. And here's that bruised banana again, except this time in the structure bugs that he makes. Reminds me a lot of a uh, striking rage bug. But look at the swirl, especially on the belly there, or the top, I don't know which was which is which. Right? Super neat. And again, with that purple flake. I really, really like that color. The other color that caught my attention on Jackson's page was his emerald green, which when I opened the package, I actually got two different colors, so there's a bit of a mixture, so I thought that was neat. The first one is sort of that pumpkin watermelony green, right? With black flake in there. And then this one, oh man. That's like that cerulean, aqua, right? Almost teal. Really neat. You add a little bit of orange to that, and that's a delicious craw right there. Pretty cool. He also has those in his structure bugs. And there are those guys. Once again, that watermelony color. And then that aqua. Really neat. Everything feels pretty durable for the most part. And they are loaded with scents. So they are ripe and ready to go right out of the package. So thank you very much, Jackson, over at Beef Baits. And with my order, he included his card. So there's that for you guys. Go check him out on Instagram. Throw him some love. Really appreciate you, brother. All right. So the next one comes from my guy, John, over at Morris and Son Custom Baits. Um, this is a Texas boy, right? Out here in the Midwest with me. Or Southwest, I don't know. I actually ended up getting a few things from him. Now, the first thing I noticed about his baits when I opened the package was that he seals every single one of his packages. I thought that was a nice touch. Um, he told me that he does not add scent because he feels like it messes with the um, opacity, or right, or just the look of the bait, uh, which I'm not mad about. I mean, I can add my own scent if I wish. So even though these are custom-made baits, I actually didn't have a size request. So I noticed on Jackson's that he makes his in like that four, four and a half inch range on a lot of his stuff, barring worms and such. Um, and then John makes his in like a three, three and a half inch configuration. So I'm really stoked to have some variety. The thing I was most excited about with ordering from John were his topwater toads. So I opened a package of these and one package of craws. I'm not going to open them all right now. Check that out. I don't know how well the camera can pick it up, but it should be straight purple on your end. From the way I'm looking at it, it's clear. Right? That's what we call Ozark smoke. And this is kind of where it was born, this part of the country. I am so, so psyched about using these. The cool thing I noticed about these is that they've got that belly split, sort of like a swim bait would, right? So your extra wide gap can kind of fit up in there when you set the hook. And then on top, there's just this little notch, right? In front of the leg, so you can kind of tech expose your hook, right? And that was born where John comes from. So. Really, really neat. You all know if you've been following me on Instagram that my top water bite's been kicking off lately. So, 
Those are about to come in real handy. And here are those toads again in that watermelon red and black flake. Super juicy. As far as the craws are concerned, I'll show you the color that he said he's most proud of at the moment. That's his molten craw, right? I thought that was a cool play on words. Molten, molting, anyway. Yeah, sort of that red and brown, almost black on top, right? And he's got black and red flake all throughout the body. Really, really cool. I do like the smaller profile on these. I feel like that would make a really good jig trailer. You could probably even put that on a Ned rig and get away with it, like a, a weedless Ned rig, you know, the extra wide gap versions. Uh, you can get those from Lifted Fishing, and you can also get those from, uh, I order them from Venom Lures. Um, both are on Instagram, so check those guys out too. But yeah, super neat. I also got those craws in the, you guessed it, Ozark Smoke. And I also got them in the Green Pumpkin and Black Flake. One thing I thought that was really cool about John's Instagram page is that he doesn't just do soft plastics. He does live fly tying. So you, if you place an order with him, he will tie the flies in a stream so you can see them being made and then he'll ship them to you. I just thought that was the neatest thing. So big shout out to John. Go check him out. Morris and Son Custom Baits. Thank you so much, man. All right, so we've been talking soft plastics. Let's switch gears and talk hard baits. This next one comes from my guy Mike over at North Fork Fishing 12 on Instagram. We just call him North Fork or Mike or at least I do. Anyway, I've been following this guy for a little while now, and I'm super impressed with the work that he turns out, man. You, you gotta see this. So, just like with the molds, right, that I mentioned earlier, there are these things called blanks, right? So these are clear lures that these guys, like Mike, will go out and buy and paint by hand, like airbrush them. And it is incredible what the results are. So I asked him for a couple different things, and the first one, I've really taken a shine to the tilapia magic color that Netbaits does on their dagger. I want to say that Yum does a similar one called Elder Magic. It's sort of that green pumpkin. It's got purple and gold and blue flake in it. Look at this. Right? This is in what he calls his armor series. So he paints what look like plates of armor on the back of this thing. How freaking cool is that? There's his logo on the bottom, by the way. His company's called Slappin' Dinks. <laughs> How great is that? But this is the thing that really caught my eye the first time I started following his page um, was that armor series. I just thought that was so freaking cool. And it's got a nice varied rattle to it. He's got some smaller ones in there, some larger ones. So it's just got a different rattle to it. I don't know. Super cool. Since spring is upon us, the next thing I asked him for was sort of a craw pattern or color. And just absolutely hammered it. Look at that. Sort of that fire craw. I mean, just a brilliant red color. That crimsony, orangey, right? With that yellow belly. And again, I told him, if it's not armor, I don't want it. Look at just how freaking cool that is. Just some wild talent out there, man. So yeah, really neat. Two of the same blank. They have, and again, what we mean by that is the shape of the lure, like the actual type of lure itself. So again, that varied rattle. Now I told you I saved the best for last. Oh, man, I almost don't want to show you. <laughs> it's going to be my secret weapon for topwater. Look at that. Check that out. So it's a walking bait, right? A rather large one. This is the largest walking bait I own. But look how just bold and distinct the plates on that are. I am most excited to throw that. It's like a damn submarine. <laughs> really neat. Mikey did a fantastic job, man. I, I can't I can't sing enough praise there. Um, there's quite a few uh, guys in that circle actually um, who airbrush, right? So there's um, SoCal.Bass.Angler. He's a super talented guy. You've got Debo, right, from Debo's Fishing. He's actually opened up his own page um, now for selling lures. So he, SoCal, Mike, all those guys all collaborate and, you know, shoot ideas back and forth. And just the things that these guys come up with blow my mind. So, Mike, thank you so much. Um, he actually includes some goodies here, right? So with my lures, he included a little slap and dinks 
North Fork Fishing 12 keychain. That will be going on the old ring here in a minute. <laughs> and he didn't know it, but I've got an obsession with stickers. And he included one of those too. So that'll be going on the iPad case with everything else. So that's it for the social media buys, guys. Big shout out once again to Jackson at Beef Baits, John over at Morris and Son Custom Baits, and Mike over at North Fork Fishing. Guys, I really appreciate your collaboration on this. Guys, thank you so much for what you do. Keep on rocking it, and I can't wait to catch a tank on everything I bought. Okay, so as a little cherry on top, I got one more thing to open. You can see it is completely sealed. I have not opened it. Yes, I know what's in it. No, it didn't come from an Instagram or Facebook vendor, but this is arguably gonna be my favorite part, so let's get into it. Get my trusty pocket knife here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not carry a knife, you need to rethink your life. Just saying. <laughs> all right, so let's check it out. Right, so these guys need no introduction. You're all very familiar with Tackle Warehouse by this point. I really enjoy buying from them. Um, you know, I really do try to support um, do it yourself, you know, sole proprietorships, but there are just some things that you can get your hands on through Tackle Warehouse that I feel like maybe you can't get anywhere else, um, especially, you know, with the pandemic and everything, it's kind of put a, a, a big strain on things, uh, at least for, you know, brick and mortar local shops. And we certainly don't want to compound that by moving strictly online. Uh, and for the record, I'm not sponsored by Tackle Warehouse. I'm not affiliated with them in any certain way, shape or form. Um, I just like their stuff. So, Past a certain dollar amount, which you can figure out on your own, you actually get a sticker. We've already talked about my sticker obsession. Let's dive right in. So I've got some new, some old, and then some different, right? So we're gonna start with the old. So first we have the Berkeley Powerbait Pit Boss designed by Skeet Reese. Now, a lot of you are already familiar with these because these were the front runners back, you know, what, 2000, I wanna say 12? Comment below if I'm wrong about that. It's actually my first batch Ever, right I started with Strike King I started with yum and I mean there's just so much bait out there it's hard to cover all your bases um, and I've not been fishing all my life so nonetheless I have been dying to get my hands on some of these this particular color is called hell, I don't even know what the color is called but yeah I've been dying to get my hands on some of these because everyone raves about them so they're apparently not the same as they used to be oh my gosh but look at that color. Can you tell I'm a color freak? <laughs> it's like a green pumpkin, brown, purple, with green, blue, black flake. I want to say that's called the um, Skeet Reese Magic. I can't see it on the package. There, but, whew, these things smell to high heaven. <laughs> but look at that. Again, you all don't need a huge introduction to the Pit Boss. I'm just in kind of awe right now. Those are neat. I got them in a couple different colors. I typically buy in threes if I can. Something in the nature of a pumpkin or a watermelon, a white or like glacier or shad color, and then like a darker one. So this next one I got, it's, oh, it's kind of like a smoky black and orange with green and orange flake. Check that out. All right, and the third color I got is more of that it reminds me of the Wakasagi on the Dark Sleeper. It's sort of that pearly, purple, pink, green pumpkin color, right? So that's kind of more your run-of-the-mill color, but with a little bit of a twist up there. Very excited to throw my first few pit bosses ever. I hate that I'm late to this part of the game, but again, we all start somewhere. So that was kind of the old school shout out. Now we're gonna to move to the new school. This is actually, if I'm not mistaken, brand new from Sixth Sense. Right? They call this their flush. Right? It's a 5.2 inch soft jerk bait. Let me just go ahead and open one up for us. Oh yeah, check that out. Dude, there are so many little cuts and ribs and dips. There's of course that split belly for your extra wide gap hook to go in through. Now the reason it's called the flush, and I don't know how well you can see that, but in the dorsal fin, it's actually split right there, just like the belly is. So when your hook you know, you got your screw lock or whatever kind of hook you're using, you bring the hook up through there, it just sits right in between those fins, right? And then when it drops, bam, you've got your hook set. So I thought that was really neat, and the color is just killer. Again, it's kind of my recent obsession, that tilapia magic green pumpkin 
Um, and then purple, green, and gold flake. I just cannot get enough of that color. What, see, what, what in the world do they call it? Watermelon Candy Magic. And again, I told you I buy them in three, so I also got them in Bluegill Magic and Threadfin Shad. Right, so that Bluegill Magic is a little bit darker than the Watermelon Candy Magic. It's got some blue flake instead of green. And then you can actually kind of see that one a little bit better. That's that Threadfin Shad, sort of that glacier, pearl, Right, and it's got like silver and black flake on the inside. Super stoked, man. Now the last thing I got from the warehouse is the thing I think I'm most excited about uh, for a couple of reasons, and I'll share that with you in a moment, but I went ahead and got a couple of the River to Sea S waivers. So this is gonna be my first glide bait ever. Now I've used bigger multi-jointed swim baits before, but again, this is my first glide bait. So let's pop this bad boy open. So this is the four and three quarter inch S waiver, the 120 series. Um, in baby bass is what they call that and just look at that look how streamlined that is Right, and of course, it's just got that one joint But what that's gonna do for you is as you swim it. It's gonna give it that S curve motion hence the S waiver so really really neat a lot of guys have given these a lot of praise recently the swim bait and glide bait game, I feel like has really blown up, especially since I've gotten into bass fishing. So yeah, I've been really eager to get my hands on one of these. Um, they only had them in this size in the baby bass. So if you're looking to get any, when you go to Tackle Warehouse, just you need to keep an eyeball on it because they sell like hotcakes. I mean, they're gone in an instant as soon as they get there. So one more look at that. Yeah, pretty cool. Now speaking of getting your hands on one of these, I didn't just buy one, I bought two. Today is not just the first delicious unboxing, it's also the first delicious giveaway. That's right, you heard me. And the only way you could have known that is if you watched to this point in the video. I didn't advertise it anywhere else, I didn't tell anybody, nothing. So, in a moment, I'm going to give you the instructions you need to get entered to win this bad boy. I want to take a second and tell everyone who has liked, comment, subscribed, and supported in any capacity, thank you. I didn't really feel the need to wait till 100 or 200 or 1000 followers to spoil you guys. I really do appreciate the support that you give. Um, it really gives me the motivation that I need to keep on doing this. Okay, so what I need you to do in order to get entered to win this guy is to stop what you're doing, think of a number between one and a hundred. No, it's not a game. Okay, it's a game. <laughs> it's the most fair way I could think to do it, okay? Don't judge me. Think of the number, direct message me on Instagram, at deliciousfishing, and at the end of my next video, I'll pick a winner based on everyone who messages me. And again, no one else could have known about this, so it's just you and anybody else who watched at this point in the video. I didn't want to blast it everywhere and just have some random person win it just because they showed up. I want to support the people who are supporting me and are following me in my journey. And thank you so much for doing so. So, that's it for me. If you enjoyed everything, you know what to do. My big ask is leave me those comments, give me that feedback so I can keep learning and growing. Consider subscribing, and I'll do my best to put more stuff like this together for you guys. Thanks for watching Delicious Fishing, and get out there and go catch some fish.